Oh, it's been a while. When is the last time I see you in person? Uh, maybe oh. last year. Wow, time flies. Yeah, I'm glad to be back here from the US for the 50th anniversary of SC Logistics. Yeah, how are yes. you? Yes, good, good. Um, well, we always uh, communicate via phone and email, so it's very good to see you in person. That's true. Yeah. Uh, this place is cool. What is what is this? Yeah, so Loyang Field Facility has changed quite a fair bit since you uh, came back. So as you can see, we now install the solar panel. We have installed also the facial recognition system. So we've done quite a fair bit during the COVID as well. Yeah, so you know, uh, COVID hit us quite bad. Likewise, I think in, in Plexus as well. We've come a long way. The last two, three years have been uh, tough on the aviation vertical with the downturn of uh, uh, the aviation uh, business in flying and uh, border closures and so on and so forth but as a vertical together collectively we have uh, aviation and marine logistics uh, Wyman hates that and he and his and aviation marine logistics goes back all the way to 1995 when uh, we started doing the uh, warehousing contracts for uh, for the military and a year later uh, in 96 ST airport services Gary hates that um, and this is our premium fuel service provider we provide uh, premium fuel services uh, for the both military as well as the uh, commercial customers. And these two uh, business units actually were the forefront of the current aviation vertical structure. And lo and behold, in 21-7, uh, two years after they, the vertical stood up, Freight joined them. And one of the reasons was because we wanted to pursue the aviation warehousing business. So Freight is a natural uh, capability to this, uh, to this business. So we've been operating together uh, like that for, for close to four to five years. So you know, uh, interestingly for freight, while we are the newest kid on the block uh, in the aviation vertical, having only joined in 2017, uh, but we go back a long way um, with Plexus uh, having stood up in uh, 19 or in the early 80s and freight slightly earlier than that. So we've really come a long way and um, but things are picking up now in the environment. Uh, borders are opening up, flights are getting, uh, flights are picking up as well. So we have a lot to look forward to. Indeed, we came a long way. I'm proud that what AML has been done, I mean, has been doing. Uh, as a matter of fact, the whole ST log has been doing. Yeah, the pandemic really hit the airfield industrial hard. And we also badly affected with that, by, by that. Yeah. Pandemic is stabilizing, the border is open. Business coming back, activities is, uh, increases. Yeah, next challenge is about getting stuff out enough people to do all those things. Yeah, and that's the important thing that we need to find the, the right people. Yeah, with the sense of purpose, then uh, for the business. Yeah, for the past two years we invested a lot on people. Okay, I mean upskilling them. Okay, looking at our uh, processes through innovations, trying to do things better, and. Uh, all this, hopefully, we can uh, lead to uh, new capabilities and then we can do more with less. Uh, Waiman, I agree with you. So, uh, Stars ST Airport Services came a long way uh, since uh, for 26 years. So, the past two years, during COVID, period, we invested in capabilities, uh, in digital transformation. And now, our process are all digitalized. We also invest in capability to better manage our assets our infra and, uh, and also to provide value as service to our customers. For the people, same as you, we also invest to upskill them and retrain them on digital skill set. And last part, moving forward, we are also investing on sustainability. So we are also working with aviation industry players on sustainable aviation fuel. So future looks bright and I look forward for more success for ST Lock itself. Yeah. So Cynthia, so tell me more about Plexis. Is it still based in California? How things there? Uh, yes, we are still in Inglewood, California. We've been there since 1988. So we are there for 34 years now. Uh, we've been a strategic key partner to SU Logistics. And actually, Waiman here was stationed there for six years. My best six years in, in SD Lock. Yeah, you have the opportunity to travel overseas, work overseas, have some overseas ex experience. Yeah. Work is difficult, but I enjoy it very much. So what are some of the challenges uh, faced when you were there? I guess in, in America, US has, is one of, if not the most complex import and US, 
export compliance. We have to understand the regulations and com fully comply to it. I think that's, that, that is the biggest challenge. Huh? Yeah, so I agree. I mean, uh, we are always very uh, careful about uh, our military equipment being imported into the US, the licenses and stuff like that. So all that's got to be tip top, accurate, and then we, we can be safe with the US government as well as keep our customers safe. Uh, yes, and that's where Plexus comes in as we take care of the compliance and ensure we are following uh, the regulations, doing it right every time. And we're very happy with that. So long may it continue, keep the focus, maintain the competency and uh, I think we have, we have a, a good future together. Hey, one month, we should take a photo with her since she's back in Singapore. Oh, okay, Come. why not? Good idea, yeah, good Come. idea. Let's do a selfie. Okay, one, two, three. I think this time is good. Yep. Yeah, Perfect. Yeah. Send it to us. Yeah. Okay. Share it with sure. us. All right. Yeah. Hey, Wisin. How are you? Good morning. Hey, Wisin. Wisin, good to see you. Yeah. Okay. So how, okay. All ready for the night? Yeah, of course. Look at the watch. <laughs> Look at the watch.